guys, welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. We're at Lyson's Bourbon Bar, and I'm Matt, and that's Tony. That's and me. We're about to drink some Legion. I feel like the name needs to have a grunt behind it, because I feel like it's like a tough guy name. Like, Legion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel it? I feel it. You know, like Legion and Doom from WWF. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And they always emphasize it, like, Legion. Like, pa. Yeah. Well, the Doom probably was Doom. Like, yeah, some. I don't right? know. Right? But it, Legion should be pronounced Legion. And you should have to say it deep I think we're just showing our age right now. I feel, yeah, well, because they're dead now, aren't they? One of them. Uh, Wasn't that Road Dog an animal? Or a hawk an animal? I don't know, something like that. I think so. Pretty sure. But this Legion bottle is 47%, 94 proof. And this is the, like, weird looking blue bottle. I have no idea what makes this different than that other bottle, but I didn't like the other bottle. And I'm really hoping this one picks up where that one left off. Because this is a Jim Beam product from New York. Yeah, I was going to say, like, don't even ask me because I know nothing about this one. Fred No. Fred No is related somehow to Booker No, who makes that. And Fred No, Booker No, all Jim Beam. It's all Jim Beam products, so it is what it is. Hopefully this is like a light Booker's. That'd be cool. Right? <laughs> nice. I thought that was pretty good. But we got our fancy, uh, fancy Glen Cairns here. Woo! And I still cannot figure out if I'm pouring enough or not enough because it's rounded and different shape now. Yeah, we're but well, we're even ish. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close. You're a little light on mine, but we're okay with that. That's okay. Oh damn! No, no, okay. no I'm heavy. Wow, oh. it's like a brown, sugary, caramely, very light. Doesn't burn your nose hairs out flavor. No, no. I like this. It smells good. It smells good. I'll tell you what though. Okay. This doesn't smell as good as the uh, blackened. Blackened is the best smelling thing. Oh in yeah, the world. That, that was amazing smelling. You can you can smell that this was in wine barrels. Yeah. Got a port smell to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, it also yeah. kind of tells you that on the bottle. Oh, does it? Yeah. So. I was, I was reading it when you weren't looking. Yeah. Partially finished in wine and sherry casks. Oh, casks, I'm sorry. Wine and sherry casks. So that's not going to be like the port like the Angel's Envy. So it shouldn't no. be as strong. It should, it's going to be like a little lighter. Okay. Well, I know what I'm expecting to taste on this. I'm hoping we get that. Yeah, so. You ready? I need one more. One more. Right. It smells good. Let's, it doesn't it does. burn you at all. Yeah. Let's see, Let's see what we got here. Wow. That's super uh, peppery on the front. Cleans up real nice. Very little going down. Yeah, I got. Wow. This is another one. This, this I don't know if I'm off lately, but everything we've tried lately Smoke. hits me in the nose. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's in the front. Yeah, it's not hitting me down mm -hmm. low or nothing. It's boom. yeah. There was no burn. No, I didn't feel it trail down. Nothing. nothing. Like it's just super clean. I like it. Yeah, you can definitely. Pick up on the uh and it does not clear that front off in the second sip at all wow so it stays strong at the front it's got a peppery taste to it um just like a rye would but it stops at the middle of your tongue and then starts finishing off with like more of a butterscotchy taste like it's very light very sugary ish yeah like and it kind of finishes almost okay when you finish a wine a red wine a dark red table wine like you're with your wife and you're having your yeah. glass of red wine, it finishes like that. Where it's the strong aftertaste, like the after dinner wine, that's what this tastes like. If you do like that, you would you would love this. Yeah, I almost get like a little oaky taste at the end. Yeah, there is like there is wood in there. Yeah, very very light at the end. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Yeah, not bad. I don't know that this would make any kind of list for me. No, it's not going to make a list for me. It would be a good sipper. It would be something... Yeah, not an everyday sipper. No, definitely not. At least not, not. for me. I, I mean, I don't know. It's good, though. Well, we have very little left in here, so I'm going to put one ice cube in. And there it is. Yeah, so... We're going to try to pick At least out. one thing I could say with this one so far is usually... By sip three for us, it's it's either gotten better or it's gotten worse. It hasn't changed. This has not changed whatsoever. Very consistent taste. 
what you get on the first sip is what you get on the second yeah. sip and the third Sir, sip. Yeah, like it was oh, exactly wow. the same every time. That opened it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. Change the smoke quite a bit. Let's go at this. See what this goes at. Oh wow, the front's gone. Okay. Very now tiny bit on the front. This is okay. I actually no. I'm getting the pepper a little more. Really? Like not like That cleared me, gone. Not like pepper burn. But like the but actual peppercorn I, I, taste. Actual taste mm -hmm. of it. See I got that in the beginning when it was warm. Yeah, like now, I just got hit in the nose. Oh no shit. Yeah, like I, I feel like this I am a little, up I'm a little stuffed up today, so... Maybe to clear that up. <laughs> That'd be great. Stupid allergies, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> but honestly, this would be one if you go to the store. Um, I think I paid $50 for this at Justin's House of Bourbon. It wasn't in Ohio. They do sell this in Ohio, though, because I send them this pictures at Joe D's Beverage every week, and this is there constantly. So you can find this in Cleveland. This is one that you can actually go and get. Yeah. Um, it's not bad. It's nothing I would write home about. But I mean, if I went to the store and I needed like a mixer or something, I wanted to drink yeah, on a this random would be Wednesday. A decent mixer for sure. Yeah, because you'd still get the peppery taste at the beginning, and that would add into your lemon and your honey and anything you were trying to mix yeah. with. So I feel like that would be good. So for a mixer, I would say yeah. Yeah, you probably you could probably make some cool drinks with this. Yeah, I think we're gonna because I don't see me drinking this in a glass <laughs> again by itself, unless I have. I'll tell you what though, with, with one piece of ice. This cleared it up to the point to where there was no pepper for me in the beginning. So it, it was all pepper in the front and then nothing in the middle of your tongue and then it cleared out and you're like, oh, it's like a butterscotchy sweetness like at the end. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It definitely stays all up front. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, it's almost like a pound cake. That would be a better word than the butterscotch. I think it would be like more like a pound cake, like a dry yeah. cake yeah. in your mouth. like a, almost, Butters, oh. Butterscotch is more sweet. I wouldn't really it's call not. this a sweet one. Um, what's the cake with the circle? Angel food cake. This would yeah. be like an angel food cake at the back. Soft but dry. Pepper, dry, boom, hits you and you're like, oh, cake, okay. And that's what it is. Not super sugary, like butterscotch or anything like that, but that, that would be what this is. So, if you do like that flavor profile, this is where you're at. And they do sell this in Ohio constantly, so you can go pick this up. I honestly would, I'm going to mix this with a bunch of stuff and I'm going to make a bunch of cool drinks with it. I'm probably going to smoke it, actually, to make it super smoky with the pepper. I feel like that'd be great. So, yeah, it could be. Right? But smoke up some apple chips or something. Yeah, dude, that, we're going to do that when we shut this video off. That'd be killer. But like we say in all the videos, if you're drinking while you're watching us, don't drink and drive. Horrible, horrible idea. Get Hold home mom. safe. TJ, Dad, whoever, get home. Somebody. Yeah, definitely. And make sure you like, share, subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Oh, man, I'm all oh, over. Yeah. <laughs>